What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Block Tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the carrier mod from Java to an add-on. Or not even an add-on, I guess it's a command. Yeah, so it's a command in Bedrock Edition. Let me kind of just explain <laughs> because I kind of don't know. So I created this and I, all I wanted to do was if I was player one, which if I do scoreboard, objective, set display, sidebar, ID, I am player one and I am going to place this chest. I'm going to add a command block there and blah, 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 blah. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Keep in mind, this is going to carry over data. So we're going to now take our armor stand. Get these out of the way. Sorry. Player one. Oops. Ignore that. Uh, we're going to spawn this armor stand, and we're going. We are player one. That means we're going to use the player one clone. You can change the name. I just that was for me. It is now going to spawn a particle saying we have now selected this chest to be moved uh oh i've already selected it to be moved i ran out of my name tags let's go ahead and delete something there we go we're going to now move this chest instead let's move it right here we're going to spawn this armor stand and we're going to name it clear 1b pop everything's deleted we now have all of our inventory completely moved from where our first house was to our second house or something. I don't know. We can delete that. And we're done. That is it. If you want to have two of them, let's go ahead and try that out. What, what happens if we have two of these? Daycon. Oops. Boom. And boom. Let's put a dirt. Let's, you know, let's put a dirt block in this one. And put a which we call it in that one. Which one should we do first? Let's do the dirt block, and then the um, which we call it the uh, dark oak wood. So we're gonna plop this here, and we're gonna spawn that. Which one do we get? The grass block. So it's completely random. Everybody says no, it's the last one. No, it actually is random. It's going to randomly. I would suggest you do one at a time. Otherwise, you're going to lose your second chest, your third chest, your first chest. I don't know. It's going to delete something. Just pick one at a time. I haven't fully updated this. This is kind of just like an example run through, kind of explaining some stuff. I really just wanted to be able to move something inside of a world. I was actually thinking of an add-on, and this kind of came to mind. And I was able to do it with commands, so I'm probably going to end up making an add-on version of this. As well, it's going to be probably more efficient. But for now, this does work on realms. These are all the player IDs. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the commands and stuff. If you guys want to add this to your realm, your world, your server, whatever, uh, your single player, it doesn't matter. Uh, first command we're going to take a look at is you're going to need an add an ID cooldown. And then everybody needs to be added to that ID cooldown of one. So it's constantly going to be giving you an ID of cooldown. So scoreboard objective, set display sidebar, ID cooldown. Oops. Let's go ahead and go back. Cooldown. You see that at 620, it's going to be reset. So at 620, we're going to say, it's. I think it's going to say hi. Or sub to Daycon, yeah. So that's what this one is doing. It's going to say at 620 to 1,000, you can say whatever. This is just like a default thing. It's going to reset everybody's score. As soon as they join, everybody's going to have different times, different scores. But as soon as you get to 620, it's basically going to put it back to zero. And when that happens, it's going to say, uh, sub to Daycon, you can have this do whatever it is you want it to do. You can have everybody, you can have it spawn a particle at everybody. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want this to be. That's just resetting. It's starting it. It doesn't matter. It, it literally doesn't matter. I only put these here. I would not recommend having these here on a server. I would recommend if I was you, I would take this, delete these, 
and put this here like this in front in front of this block. I just put these here so I could see it in action. And if I wanted to add another command, I could delete these, put them. That is just for me. The reason I say that is because if I hit 10 first, it's going to reset a relay. And then when you hit 10, it's going to reset a relay. It's not that big a deal. It can still work if multiple people are hitting it and, you know, at different times as people join because everybody's getting reset. And I'll explain that in a second. I'm just saying if I was you, put this on a realm, I would just knock those two out of the way, throw that there, change this to a chain command. And here's why. So scoreboard objectives, we're going to remove the ID system completely. Not ID cooldown, just the ID. Then we're going to give everybody the ID system back that's in the game that hasn't left. If you left, you're going to get removed, so it doesn't matter. Scoreboard players, add at all ID of zero. So we're going to just, you know, give everybody the ID back. And then we're going to start. If you have zero, we're going to do randomly add one. And two, randomly add all the way till 11. It's the same command guys so i don't need to go through every one of these it's just a different score all the way till 11 and then once you have that that's just basically from player one to the host basically i'm the only one in the game so i'm player one and that is player two and this is player one so these commands are executing at player one which is idea of one and we're going to execute clone player one count one within five blocks we're going to clone to this exact coordinate this is two negative 60 15. so if you're going to do this you're going to need to do two different things you're going to need to specifically find the coordinates i recommend if you're going to use this you can find your coordinates if when i make an add-on i'm going to do something like i did about three years ago on my world edit which found the zero 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 and I like cleared it and I just copied it. I can actually do this in an add on because I'll know coordinates that people that have or use. But I recommend two negative 60 15. That's this one. That's what this is looking for. We're basically going to clear it, find it, and we're going to clone whatever clone one is. We're going to plop right here on this one. This one is going to look for the exact same thing. Um, but we're going to clone it at itself so whenever this is cloned we're going to clone we're basically going to put a chest down put whatever inside of it place an armor stand on top of it because it's looking for the one underneath it or basically inside of it since it's a little less than a half a block it's going to look for itself this is the chest we're going to press clone one and it's going to clone behind us the exact same way with the exact same stuff just like that this one is going to clone just like that so there you go if i want to add three or two what do i add two two three so i can take as many as i want you can see that's active then we're basically going to go to cloning. We're going to execute at the clone one and we're going to clone it here. Basically, that is going to clone itself over to here. Those are what these three commands are. This one is going to then clone when we have player two active. So remember, player two or clone version two. Watch this. Watch these two chests. What's going to happen? Plop. that's deleted that chest is deleted that chest is deleted and we have now moved that there that's what this is doing we're just basically moving this to wherever clone 2 was this is going to then kill clone 1 and this is going to kill clone 2 basically that is the entire thing the exact can't same concept for the second ID and we're just naming it player two instead of player one and then player two B instead of player one B and that's how it would work. Now two things. If a player joins and they are player four, right? I have player four 
like clone P4, clone P4B. There's not four people in the game. I'm actually now player two because three people left. I would recommend every time it resets, these get deleted. And what I mean by get deleted is something you could, it's, it's so, you know what? It's just, it's so easy. You know what? Let me just click this. I'm going to add it one block over and we are going to just clear the command. So let me see. Let me clone P1. So clear at P. Name tag. Well, it. You know what? I don't know what you're gonna use. I can use name tag, but I don't know exactly what you're gonna use. So I would only allow one of the item or clear the entire item. It would be kind of con. It'd be kind of annoying, but. The only reason I'm saying something like this is because you want to not have that. You don't want to have clone one four B and I'm player two now. Because then it's not gonna work for me, because I'm I'm trying to play as player four. So I need to go back to spawn and every one of these need to be available for what the player is. And you need to create a list. I'm the only player in the game, so it's not gonna show the list, but you'll be able to see what you are based on whatever it is. So if I'm list, I'm player two. I know I can get player two and I can then clone player two stuff. Or if you're just gonna play this in a single player, then you ain't even gotta worry about half this stuff. Just do the first part, but. You guys can probably figure out the rest. This is just a basic concept on how to move a chest around your world. You can literally go anywhere thousands and thousands of blocks away, it doesn't matter. It does work as long as you use a ticking area around your block, your commands and stuff. But that is pretty much it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what else you guys are interested in. I am currently working on three projects. One is my huge mod pack with commands, which is like this. It's command stuff, and it's going to be a command block world. Two is an actual add-on where I create a mod pack live with you guys i'm not sure if that's something you're interested in. and three is my magic add-on i'm thinking about showing you guys as i progress through it i deleted it and i'm thinking about redoing it because a lot of stuff is just old and i just kind of want to go through new stuff with you guys but i'm not sure leave a comment if you're interested in any of those things as well as command block tutorials and other cool stuff i'm interested in making some cool things so let me know see you in the next one i'm big and black rose i'm out